we are going to take a look at how to create a unit within jump rope and what the purpose of creating that unit would be. Um, so I have logged in and I can see all of my classes and I am going to go into the class that I wanna create a unit in. Now I can either, um, I'm gonna do this in my training elementary class. I have two different ways I can enter this class. I can click plan, which is going to bring me to, directly to the plan page. Or if you click on the name, it's going to open that class up and you will have all your options down here at the bottom and you'll notice that all the way over on the left is plan. So either way, we'll get you there. So you can see I have a couple of units in here already. I have a writing unit, a projects unit, and a reading unit. In the previous version of Jump Rope, you were required to create units in order to create assessments. That is no longer true. Units in Jump Rope 2.0 are completely optional. So the benefit of creating these units is going to be that it will help you stay organized. Um, so to create a unit, I am going to come to the upper right hand corner right here where it says create. I am going to click that for my drop down menu and all the way down at the bottom, it says new unit. So we're going to select that and I have to title my unit. So let's title this one math and you can add a description if you want. Um, that is not required. And then all you're going to do is click save. It will update and now you can see that I have my unit math here. Um, it puts the newest unit up at the top, I believe. And um, if you want to reorganize, if you click on the three dots all the way over on the right hand side, you can click um, to move down or move up. So if I click move down, it should move my math unit down. Oh, there we go. Okay, it just took a little time. So you can see that it's moved down. So you can reorganize your units that way.